Hello and welcome to the CCNP routing and switching course offered by Simply Learn. The last lesson focused on troubleshooting spanning tree and VLAN. This lesson focuses on troubleshooting inter VLAN routing. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain inter VLAN routing, troubleshoot CEF, discuss ICMP, discuss ping sweep and trace route commands, use Internet Control Message Protocol packets in the ping, extended ping, and trace route commands to troubleshoot. Let us start our discussion of inter VLAN routing. A Layer 3 device is required for inter-VLAN routing. This means that either a router or a multi-layer switch can be used. There are differences between two devices in terms of overall capabilities. For example, a router has a wide area network capability, whereas an MLS does not. A router iOS has more features than an MLS iOS, for example, firewall or intrusion prevention. However, an MLS normally forwards packets faster than a router. Internet Control Message Protocol, ICMP, is a network layer protocol that belongs to a control protocol group and has been designed keeping the characteristics of an IP protocol in mind. ICMP echo request and echo reply messages are used by the ping and traceroute commands. When issuing these commands, the source sends a series of echo requests. For every ICMP echo reply received by the source, an exclamation point appears in the output. For each echo request with no matching reply, a period appears in the output. A ping or traceroute command will be successful only if the source router has a route to the destination and the destination router has a route back to the source in their routing tables. This is why these commands are so useful. They check Layer 3 connectivity in two directions at once. In the next slide, we will discuss how to use arguments to the ping command to find more information.